Hey guys, it's Hack today, and I got us a new Abbey Calendar to look at. It's a Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I know everyone might have heard of it, but it's still cool to announce. So, let's get started. And everyone, if you like watching the like, like Nightmare Before Christmas, have a thumbs up and down and down, down below. And let us know your favorite character. So, I'm gonna try to get started with the first one and see. Alright, um, one minute. Alrighty, um, sorry fellas. Alrighty, alright, let me pop the hole out first. And while we do that, I'm gonna try and see which watch you might like. I know, oh, it's a blue bag. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if it has a loose end. Uh, alright, let me get my trusty scissors and let's pop this thing open. And I wonder who it's gonna be. Oh, it's the Pumpkin King himself. Not Jack Skellington, but the Pumpkin King. It looks so cool. Honestly, I'll try to do a little bit of that so you'll be able to see the bottom. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm hoping next year they do something different as well. Like, I would love to see maybe some Mary Lane or even another Marvel would be amazing. All right, sorry, Fettus. I got my finger stuck for a minute. All right. Ooh, they're like different bags each time. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm hoping, like, I wonder if that last bag could be red or even could be black. For the Nightmare Before Christmas theme. I would be really hyped about that. And I probably should get my scissors. And I do see a bit of white. You know, I wonder if Santa's going to be on the last day. But, yeah. Let's see. Alright. Um, let me do a little bit more of a big snip. And hopefully, we get something awesome. I think I know who we got. We got Zero. One of my favorite characters from the movie. And he has this all kind of zero slash Halloweenish look. I like the way he like displays the world and he actually has a bigger version of a pop. Like all these probably have a bigger version of the pops, but I don't think I have any of them. So if you guys want to see the bigger ones, let me know. And maybe I'll think about doing them. Alright. Next. Alright, let me pop this thing out. If I knew this was happening, I would pop them out early, so I can spare you guys some time. Oh, that was a little bit easier than I thought. Okay, let's get this thing open and ready. Oh, we got the mayor! This is actually one of my favorites, actually. This is actually one of my favorite characters because it has these two heads. One, not so good, and one, so happy. So, maybe this one might be my favorite this time. And let me know what you guys are favorites down below as well. Alright. Alright, got another white bag. And let's see who this person could be. <gasps> Oogie Boogie. The fourth one is Oogie. Actually, I like this. I'm hoping we get the, like, the brown bag as well. Or the one with the dice. Oh, yeah. I would like that. That one might be in my top ten, but you know me. I like villains. So, you know, I would love something like this. T Funko, I know you probably won't do this, but Total Drama would be amazing. As a Funko thing. I would even want to mind their convention. Yeah, you guys wanted to say that to the Funko page? Let me know. Ooh, we got Sally. Looks like a ordinary Sally. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I think she's holding something. Oh, it's a trick or treat basket. It's a little bit way late for that, but yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, that's number five and number six. Who is it going to be? Who is it gonna be? Alright. This one has a bag, so you can tear. 
Oh, we got a nighttime jack. What did it say? The scientific method. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I bet you're bringing yourself a bedtime story. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Like, if you like, have a cool, like, bedtime story, let me let us know down in the comments. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's go to day seven and see how this goes. Yeah, this door is a little bit sturdy, so one second. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I'm trying to get it out for you. <laughs> All right. There we go. Alright, day seven. This is a normal pop up calendar, you probably would know this from the horror one. So, and the marble. Ooh, we got the clown. Not the one we love, like Pennywise, or even Krusty. But still an awesome clown. I like, I actually like this one. This is gonna be hard to pick a favorite this time. I actually admit. All right, and I'll try to push him back, and I'll try to stand them up at the end. And number eight. All right, let's try and get this one a good entrance. This one's a different bag, so I need my trusty scissors. And, oh, we got Vampire Teddy. That's amazing. Actually, I love this one. Like, I love them all. I would love them all unconditionally, but that one may put up a challenge. And number nine. All right, number nine. Open it up. And oh, we got a lock. Whoopsie. Um, is lock? He has his mask on and his devilish look. And I'm hoping we get his buddies next. Uh, shock and Barrel. Alright, let's see if they're next. So, and maybe I'll, I'll interview them all together. I was actually, I might consider getting those. Actually. So, it'd be amazing to have like, a few at a time. And I think, <gasps> this is Shock! Woo I'm excited. So this is Shock. She's pretty amazing. Like, with our buddy Locke. Okay. Let's see if we can get Barrel next. I would like to see Barrel. Alright. Day, day 11. Alright. Alright, let's do day 11. Let me see who we get. I think we got Barrel. Actually, we didn't. We got Jack Skellington holding a snowflake. Sorry, fellas, it's hard to see. There we go. Jack Skellington. Amazing, as always. All right. All righty. Um, there we go. Next, we got this one. <gasps> finally, we finally got Barrel. If I had to pick my lead favorite out of the trio, I say it would be lock. So here's a little barrel. There he is. So day thirteen. All right, sorry, fellas. Let me get that out for you. I wonder if it's gonna, it's gonna be, probably not gonna be like the fourteen or thirteen day. Alright, if you guys like what we do, that'd be pretty cool. I'm sorry if I'm just getting a lot of stuff. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. that's pretty cool. Jack Skellington and a snowman. I think I saw that in a few stores like a long time ago. So that's pretty cool. He even has an umbrella. And next, I think it's day 14. One of my favorite mini days. Of course, I love every day of this month. This one gives me a special power. Dr. Finkelstein. I like this one. You can actually close the hatch for the pop, actually, the big pop, but I don't think you can do it for this one, sadly. I would try. See, you can't even do it. 
So he's pretty cool. And now let's do 15. All right, let's do 15. All right, let's see who we got. Oh, we got a Sally with a, looks like a little bit of fruit. Just her sitting down. I do love that. It's a little bit sad to film, but I, everyone probably saw the film by now. And yeah. Let's do 18. Like what a, what a good one for sure. One minute, let me get my trusty scissors and do this. Hold on, I need a little bit deeper. This one's a little bit tough to cut. Give me my key tool. No. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if we can pop it open. Oh, a glow in a dark zero. I'm so gonna need to try this out later. And trust me, fellas, I so will. And that's exciting. I never thought this would be a thing. And yeah, okay, that might be, might be a tough one to compete. All right, number 17. All right. Number 17, we go. Here we go, we got the man himself. Not with a prop this time, just Jack Skellington himself. I heard it was a 10 inch, probably an 18 inch. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Also, folks, if you're watching this, I would like some random Halloween movie ones. And a calendar. So, if you're watching, let me take out my offer maybe. Or my idea. Oh, the bag is at the bottom. And I think this is say 18. Was one of the best things ever around last year. So, yeah, I'll feel hyped about that. You are a digital last year, and we got the Harley Queen Demon. He looks so cool. And I love the mouth, I love everything about him. As I was saying, like, the Disney trip was amazing, and, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Alright, let's get to day 19. Alright, right, let's check this out. Day 19, what do you have for us? <gasps> yes, original Oogie Boogie. I like this so much. If you give me a glow and dark Oogie Boogie, I'll be happy. I'll be so stinking happy. And this is actually pretty awesome. I love all, I love all the figures. But yeah, I'll tell you my favorite by the end of this. I'm for number 20. All right. Snap, this one's big. Oh, well, well, well. Looks like we got Sandy Claus or Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Okay. This is my first Santa Claus pocket pop. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. He has the list and he has his bell or something. Interesting. So... Yeah. And number 21. Let's check it out. All right. All right. Oh, bees moth. Oh, this is amazing. I love this one so much. Actually, I like this one. And if you can tell by the background, you can see our tree a bit. 
And we, we brought it back this year because we thought it'd be awesome to bring out the Christmas spirit. And time for number 22. Alright. on your first. Actually, doesn't look like one, so I'm gonna need these more scissors. Right, yeah. Oh, Funko, I would like to see more Coraline as well. Yeah. <gasps> oh! I didn't see this coming! Uh, a Diamond Edition Zero? Oh my goodness! That's amazing! I can see the glitter all over the place. It's so cool. That one might be my favorite diamond edition I ever saw, actually. All right, time for number day 23. Second to the last day. Are you guys excited? All right. All right, let's see who this could be. Who could it be? All right. I don't know, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, another Diamond Edition. A Diamond Edition Jack as a scaling, as a snowman. So stinking awesome. I like this so much. And the next one. My favorite day of the year. The 24th. When Santa Claus does come to town. And give us another thumbs up. If you are hyped for Santa Claus. And let's see how many true believers out there. It's uh, not awesome. And lastly, I predicted this, and we've got Sandy Claus. Uh, Jack Skellington, you guys know well from the films. I don't know. I think he has a gift. And yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Alrighty. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say the Glow in the Dark Zero. So guys, push them all back, so. All right, you can recognize the pile. Which one's your favorite? And let, me, let us know down in the comments, and this is Hacks, signing out. See you guys later.